you get what's called guru status, okay? Mm -hmm. I've had guru status two or three times. I've had it taken away two or three times. Okay, the, uh, YouTube, Facebook, all these things are very quirky sites. There's no rhyme or reason why they do these things, and you can't get a hold of a live person. <coughs> now I'm back to less than 15 minutes. I don't know why. And so what you want to do is you make 15 minutes or less videos. So if you had an hour, for example, you'd make four 15-minute videos and you playlist them. And that's very simple to do. So the playlists are key. And that's just kind of a snapshot of all the different ones. But if you see these, you see these tab, I've tagged them. Ira for real estate, social media, Burning Man, uh, 1031 exchanges, Reno real estate <laughs> investors, right? So, you know, it's got those three words in it, Reno real estate. So again, we're hoping to come up on the search engines and in my case, sell them a house or maybe give them some social media ser services. The other page is basically some, some links I gave you. And on the very back here, I want to show you, I just closed this the other day, where I circled, I found you on YouTube. We're coming to Reno to look at properties in Arrow Creek. $845,000 times 3%. You know what that video was? That's setting a tripod up in my car and driving around the Arrow Creek Parkway and talking. I can't believe that people go for it sometimes. <laughs> um, B is revenue. Once you start getting viral videos, you will get notified from YouTube is we want to pay you. Can we put ads on your site? Just like on my blog, I respectfully decline. Guess whose ads they're going to put next to your videos and next to your blog? Competitors. Competitors, correct. Because they're going there to look about real estate, look about social media, they're going to see the competitors. One more, and then we're going to okay. take all the questions. If, yeah. if, you're, if you're not making money, though, it could be a great way of generating Absolutely. revenue. So like in my case, I monetize the correct. YouTube site for the temple. Yeah, so you're, you're we possibly too. could make money from that because yeah. we don't Jeremy's sell anything. Jeremy's done that for years. He's done that uh, with, with Google AdWords and things like that. And you can do that for strictly that. But in my case, I don't want competitors' ads there. That's, that's good that's advice. That's a very good point. And um, one quick point, you can monetize which ones you want. Exactly, right. yeah. In individual ones as well, yeah. But it's just, uh, it's just not, not something I do, but it, it can be done and, and all that. And a lot of times, here's the thing with monetization on YouTube, you better make sure that, that they're 100% yours because if you go to monetize YouTube and there's any copyright violation at all, your channel's gone, okay? So they watch it even closer because then a human looks at it, okay? Before it's a robot looking for sound, looking for identical features, and, and, but, but then a human actually looks at it. And by, by copyrighted material, Dave could be in the back back there pl playing the radio and we could be recording right now, and it may pick up just a, a, a little bit of a, of, of, a, of sound back there, you know, Kanye West or something playing in the background. And now you've got a copyright violation. And YouTube, it's two strikes and you're out. I've already taken the tutorial and I passed my test. One more strike, they shut down my channel. All those views, all those people are gone. So, so keep, a, keep a flash drive of all your YouTube videos. Don't rely on YouTube for storage. Same thing in Facebook. They shut your site down, you're done. There is not a live person you deal with. These are virtual runaway companies. The largest sites on the internet, there is no person you can get a hold of. There is zero customer service with these kooks. So it's owned by Google. It's high definition capable. YouTube is affiliated with ABC, PBS, ESPN, Sony, BBC, MSN, which is, of course, Microsoft. So everybody uses them. Here's the stats. These things change daily. When did we do the UNR thing? About two months ago. So these about two months ago. 60% of internet traffic on the internet today as we speak is video, whether it's YouTube or Vimeo or anybody else. So 60% of the internet traffic. 13% of the internet traffic as a whole is on YouTube. Over 70% of us across the United States <coughs> view a video weekly. It's literally everybody now. It's students, professionals, kids. These videos are the way to go. It sounds crazy because videos have been around forever. But one of the reasons videos are huge now is because everybody's now is broadband. And mobile mm -hmm. works quite well. Mm -hmm. We're up to 3G and things like that. Where before it was a joke, it'd sit there and buffer and buffer and buffer and buffer. I remember watching some of my earlier YouTube videos and you couldn't even watch them. They were unbearable. Now they just, the same videos just play effortlessly. So it's really good. 
Over half of the viewers are, under, over, are over 30, actually. So over half the people are over 30, contrary to what people think. The number one increasing type of views on YouTube are business viewings. Or businesses put them there. Because businesses are figuring it out now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen the Ford military commercial, Clydesdale horses, things like that. Everybody's got a nice, uh, the, the Ford military commercial you've got, if you like emotional stuff, it's just amazing. And just like Facebook and everything else, you have to watch what you say and do on YouTube. I push it myself, and one of the reasons I get so many views is I do push it. So I am not afraid to go out on them a little bit and give a little bit of tax. I don't know if I call it advice, but a little bit of tax guidance, a little bit of legal guidance. And as Hector will tell you, you know, we're not supposed to do that. But I always talk hypothetically. So people know when they go to my YouTube channel, I'm going to tell them how to save their house from foreclosure. I'm going to tell them how to stall the bank. I'm going to tell them how to live in their house after they no longer own it and how to play the game. See? So they go to my channel to get pure good information, not just in Nevada, but around the whole United States. Because a lot of that stuff is pretty timeless stuff. How do you get started? Typically you want a tripod, that's a little $13 one you see right there, and a $100 camera. I do have a better uh, camera that I use, but for what we're doing here it's no big deal. Sound is the biggie. If you're, if you're doing what I'm doing right now, you want kind of a, the omnidirectional kind, so that, you know, that picks up the whole room. And especially if you've got like questions and answers, that one's more of a, a, a directional. Nowadays, the smartphones are wonderful for that. Shoot them in 480 by 640 or web, web resolution. Or when you edit them, drop it down to 480 by 640. You want the widest angle as possible. Again, shotgun mic or the 360 degree directional, depending on what you're doing. Wireless mics also work pretty good, so you can always get a wireless mic and then you know, make sure it communicates. So there's a little homework now. Nowadays you get three, four hundred bucks really good. You can also hire some cheap people nowadays on the internet or Craigslist to do your, your filming for you. And then you can also go on these sites like Fiverr and things like that and they'll just edit your whole video for you for five bucks. So where we cost you hundreds in the future. So it's pretty cheap. And again, I don't do a lot of, of of editing because yeah, I think I got two or three hundred videos out there. It's just it's too time consuming. Don't want to deal with it. Watch out for the, the expensive camcorders. Those things can be a you don't really need them. Gary Vanderchuk always says just if Gary Vanderchuk by the way you know who wrote the book Crush and he's on to a second book. He just holds a camera out in front of him. His big thing if you guys have ever seen wine, WineLibrary.com, he just sits there and gets drunk drinking wine. And he says things like, it tastes like dirty socks and things like that. He became viral. Because he's telling people the real deal. There's a real guy sitting there drinking wine, getting drunk in front of the camera. Uh, he's a multimillionaire now for, from doing that. So everybody kind of looked up to him as the, the godfather of YouTube videos. And now he writes books. And you can edit in, the, in your camera. Right in the camera you can edit if you want. You can, any standard computer comes with uh, editing, Windows. Mac, Adobe, all, all kinds of stuff. Screener, there's tons of free stuff out there. I got some of the sites I passed out there. Real player. So if you want to get, you can, you can use other people's YouTube videos. For example, I'll, I will email somebody or, or something like that and I'll ask them if I can use their video. And then I'll just use my real player to burn that video. And then I'll put it on my YouTube channel. And they might have had 100 views or less. And they got some stupid name. But I tagged it properly. Same exact video, and I tagged it properly. Now all of a sudden, now I got thousands of views off the same one because they didn't have it tagged properly. So it's it's how you tag it. Camtasia is wonderful for editing and things like that. Camtasia also does screen capture. So if you wanted to do like a video a tutorial, like how to how to make a Facebook page or something like that, Camtasia is really good for screen capture. Screener with an R, not ER. And, and with and with those, you make a headset and a and a mic, and then you can talk right into it as, as you're making a video on there. So people ask all the time, what should I share? You know, you have to be careful, of course, with personal information, any of your customers' information, things like that. A lot of times I don't let my videos go, I just let them run. So for example, if I sell a house, unless I get a call from the new homeowner, I just leave them on there. I rarely take any of my videos off. Because content's 
the internet, Google's content driven. Oh, here it is. So the more videos I have on there, just like a blog, the better. So I'm going to get weighed heavier with my two or three hundred videos than some guy, guys only got a half dozen or a dozen. Same with a blog. Once you get a thousand blogs under your belt, you're going to get weighed a lot heavier. So you're indexed more. So you always want to give them information on your customers' questions. So answer their question, help them out, and be the informative go-to guy. Be clear and concise, and leverage your information. One of the things that's helped me most with YouTube, and somewhat what I'm doing now, is Toastmasters is great for making YouTube videos. Because you don't sit there and you say a bunch of ahs and ums and twiddling your thumbs. So Toastmasters helps you a lot for videos. And it doesn't have to be you, it can be other people, it can just be a house. It doesn't matter, it can be some music in the background. By the way, YouTube has its own music, so you don't have to use copyrighted music or something like that. So you can pick out your own music from YouTube. Now, when, when you have, when they call you on copyrighted music, they will give you an option to switch out. And then you go there and you, you choose the music that you want to use. So they, they are nice enough guys to do that. Answer their question. Engage them and solve their problem. You can also tease them a little bit. So there's a few different ways to do. You can fully answer their their questions, or you can use YouTube as kind of a what they call a freemium, where you give them a little teaser information. And both, by the way, click here to learn more. And then at that point, you're going to try to sell them something, more videos, a product, whatever. So it can be a good tease as well. <clears throat> Splice videos with photos are not a bad way to go. So even if you don't have a video camera, you can take a lot of splice photos and make like a collage video. And Camtasia and Scre Screener works good for that. So we could, for example today, you could just go take pictures of this whole day's events and go and make a nice two or three minute video. It'd be pretty cool. So a lot of people like those. Slideshows are fine for YouTube as well. Nice, nice